So if we really want to use the Australian code uh, for the wind analysis, uh, we can do that using MIDAS gen, but then we have to uh, manually calculate the uh, wind forces acting on the uh, windward and leeward sides and also uh, the crosswind directions like this. So we will have the, in the along wind direction, we have the windward and leeward sides and in the y direction, in the crosswind direction also we will have, have uh, wind forces. So these we will have to manually calculate using the Australian code and then we can apply this uh, to the um, MIDAS model again manually. So usually we have to uh, apply to the cladding but since we are not uh, modeling the cladding so we can apply it at the uh, middle of the slab level. So these are the uh, values that uh, I've calculated uh, using uh, uh, MIDAS, uh, sorry, Australian code. So let's see how to apply these. Uh, so what you have to do is uh, just um, select the place that you want to uh, apply the uh, wind load and um, activate them. And uh, what you have to do is uh, first define uh, uh, wind x, so wind load, and wind y, again a wind load. And uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to select the nodes at the mid level so this is, this is the along wind direction uh, the windward and leeward side and this is the crosswind direction so for along wind direction uh, uh, let's uh, select the nodes and uh, apply node loads uh, for wind x uh, in the x direction sorry uh, in the x direction we can apply um, 54 kilonewtons so that way we can apply the so we have to uh, manually select the nodes and um, then apply the loads and uh, again for index uh, we can apply 53.7 So that way, uh, you can apply the lever, windward and leeward uh, load, wind load, and uh, for the crosswind direction, um, let's quickly select the nodes and uh, apply the load in the crosswind direction which is in y direction uh, so the calculated value is uh, let's take 124 and this is wind y so you can apply uh, and again let's activate all so then we have uh, for the next um, three flows, uh, so let's just quickly activate those three flows. And uh, select the uh, crosswind direction the same value in the crosswind direction so I'll just go ahead and apply and uh, for the y direction
direction uh, sorry for the x direction so we have fx uh, so the values are 56.3 uh, 56.3 pi so this process is a bit uh, tiresome but uh, well if you really want to uh, analyze it for the Australian code you can do it this way and uh, again uh, let's take the uh, what um, next uh, flows let's just uh, do it for again in the uh, cross wind direction uh, if you pick the same value everywhere So um, again, you can quickly uh, select the nodes. So, mm, yeah. So you have to just keep selecting the nodes and apply nodal nodes at the middle of the slab level. So, Yeah, okay, so it's zero and this is wind y, wind y and uh, it's 124, so you can apply, yeah, and uh, in this direction, again you have to select the nodes, Uh, so how much is it? Uh, 75.7 So this is uh, X mm. Similarly if this In the leeward side uh, again it's 53.7 apply and for the rest of it uh, yeah, so we're almost done so we have uh, for the remaining flows let's just quickly activate them and apply the wind load So activate. Um, let's just apply, uh, let's just apply the leeward quickly, quickly. Okay, it's already uh, selected. So we can just go ahead and apply the load. And again, for the uh, leeward side. We have to select the nodes. Um, um, so that is uh, eighty six kilometers uh, again in the X direction, okay, and uh, for the cross wind. Which is uh, 124. Let's just quickly apply that. And, uh, okay, sorry. All right, uh, wind Y, 0, 124. So uh, for the crosswind, we do not have any. Um, uh, distinction as uh, windward or leeward, so you just uh, select one side and you can just uh, go ahead and apply the cross wind force. Uh, yeah, so we are done applying the wind forces. Uh, you can just view the loads. 
this play this is the uh, along wind uh, force and this is the uh, the the crosswind force um okay uh, so now uh, so if you if and when we have to uh, perform the analysis uh, we have to make sure to generate the load combinations and uh, when we generate the load combinations um, so make sure to add your wind 1.5 and wind y uh, 1. sorry 1.5 and uh, we cannot combine the along wind and cross wind uh, wind forces uh, but uh, in order to get the wind in x direction you have to get the combination of uh, windward and leeward which is why i uh, defined the windward and leeward uh, loads as one load case um, but uh, at any uh, in any case you cannot combine these two together so these are the load uh, factors the uh, factors but uh, according to the force that is leading uh, this may change uh, so first uh, let's just uh, sorry let's just uh, do the factors concrete design um, let's just yeah, okay we can go ahead And then um, sorry, uh, wind x and uh, wind y, 1.5 and 1.5. Uh, that way we can uh, uh, generate. If I uh, if I clearly show you, uh, so so when this is when y and this is the load case for index. So index where the input load is leading. So yeah, in this way you can uh, generate the load combinations uh, and. Uh, so, uh, run the analysis and uh, get the uh, results. And when you check for the storage drifts and uh, storage displacements or uh, anything, you can uh, simply uh, use the uh, uh, the load combinations uh, where the uh, wind in x direction and wind in y direction are leading. Uh, that way you can uh, analyze the uh, effect of wind forces on the structure uh, using the Australian code. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.